Why play Swain mid? Well, he brings a ton of AoE damage. He is a beast in a team fight. He has infinite scaling health, and he also brings incredible pick potential. However, he can be incredibly mana hungry, especially in the early game, and he does lack mobility and can be squishy in the early stages of the game before stacking his passive. Swain's passive is that enemy champions that die nearby will leave behind a soul fragment, which can then be collected by Swain. In addition, if Swain lands a W or E on an enemy champion, he also gains a soul fragment. For each soul fragment gained, Swain gains 12 permanent health, and upon collecting them, he'll also heal for a percentage of his max health. Swain's Q is a cone skill shot which fires out 5 projectiles. The closer Swain is to the target, the more projectiles that can hit, and the more damage it will deal. Swain's W is a very long range ability which puts a circle on the floor granting sight of the area for 2 seconds. After 1.5 seconds, the circle will then explode, dealing damage to all enemies within and slowing them. Enemy champions hit are also revealed and have a soul fragment collected from them. Swain's E is a straight line skill shot which deals damage to all enemies it passes through. At maximum range, this then bounces back to Swain, stopping on the first enemy hit, dealing damage to them and rooting them. After this hits an enemy, Swain can then reactivate the ability to pull them towards him, and he collects a soul fragment from each champion pulled towards him. Swain's ultimate changes him into his demonic form. The ultimate will continue as long as he has demonic energy remaining. This decays by itself when he's away from enemy champions, but if he's within range of enemy champions, this will last forever, and it restores to maximum upon scoring a champion takedown. During this time, Swain also creates a circle around him which deals damage and heals him, and his E has a reduced cooldown. After two seconds in this ability, he can then reactivate the ability to deal damage in a circle around him, slowing enemies. A good quick burst combo is use your E or W first into the other ability, follow up by reactivating your E into an auto attack and your Q. And for your all in combo, use E and W into reactivating your E into your ultimate with an auto attack and Q. From here, simply spam away with attacks and abilities using your ultimate explosion as well. For matchups, Swain does great into shorter range mages who he can easily bully and get past his squishier early game. And he can struggle against longer range mages or mages who can easily lock him down. For runes, take this, Conqueror is very easy to stack. For build order, start ring and pot into Leandries and tier 2 boots. After this, a crystal Scepter and Zonyas are great pickups before finishing your build with any of these as needed. For skill orders, start E then Q then W before maxing Q then W then E taking ult whenever you can. For summoner spells, take Flash and Ghost. Starting the game, ask the mid laner you're looking to farm hard, poke your opponent and take effective trades. If you're against a melee or shorter range opponent, you want to look to poke hard as a priority. Every time they go to farm, look to land an auto attack into a Q for free and easy damage. In addition, always look to land your full trade combos. If you can land your E both directions into your W, followed by an auto attack and your Q, you have absolutely chunked your opponent and procked your passive twice. In addition, when you hit level 6, you now win most extended fights as you simply bring more value. Entering the mid game, your bot lane will come mid, which means you'll find your golden experience in a side lane. Push the wave out as far as you can safely before grouping with your team for picks, objectives and skirmishes. Entering late game team fights, you are now incredibly tanky and bring an insane amount of damage. You want to play the frontline mage, where you use your ultimate to be incredibly tanky and you catch up priority targets with your E. From here, rely on the healing from your ultimate and your passive to keep yourself alive using Zonyas as needed, and simply deal tons of damage with your ultimate and ability spams.